What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm bringing you an Umbreon team. Now this Umbreon team I found over on the Jeans channel. I'm not sure who the original creator is, but if I find them I'll make sure to link them into the description. I'll at least put that video in the description. But this Umbreon set is really cool. I think the idea behind this is this mirror herb is supposed to help it counter Dondozos. If you can have this Umbreon on the field when Dondozo combines with Tatsugiri, your mirror herb will proc and you'll get the plus two in every stat as well. Though that's useless against Dondozo because Dondozo has unaware. For now. You skill swap that Dondozo, now you have unaware and they have inner focus. So you ignore all of their stats and they can't ignore your stats. So now you've got a plus two Umbreon that can, I guess it can hit with Snarl. It can bulk out with Moonlight. It's just super solid. But it's also good in other cases. Snarl and Foul Play is great. You're fighting Physical Attacker, you Foul Play them. You're fighting a Special Attacker, you Snarl them. And with Inner Focus, you can't be faked out. The next part of this team is a Sun Squad, which helps Moonlight because it boosts Moonlight to 75% healing. This Ninetales is mostly a support. It's got Weather Ball and Heat Wave for damage, but also Will-O-Wisp to cut attack and Encore to lock things in. It's Terra Grass. It's got a lot of HP investment, very bulky. And we've got Typhlosion here with a Scarf Eruption. Typhlosion, his Suian form, has been really big in this meta, especially next to Whimsicott, but this Whimsicott doesn't have Sunny Day because we're setting up Sun with Ninetales anyway. The remainder of this team is Mouse Ape. It's pretty standard Mouse Ape. The Mouse Hold doesn't have Taunt. Uh, I think that's one thing that this team is missing because this team looks really cool and is really solid. But I do think the one thing missing is Taunt on Mouse Hold. Hopefully that doesn't come up and cause any problems. So let's go ahead and play this team. Alright, we got a match against their own Mouse Ape, plus Frigorath, Blood Moon, and Greninja and Archaladon. That's really cool, because they can use Water Shuriken to boost their Archaladon, or their Annihilate. Or they could use Beat Up to boost their Archaladon, or their Annihilate. Or they could just set Trick Room and sweep with Blood Moon. So a lot of hitting themselves strats means we need to bring mouse hold. However, what do they do into sun? We should just be able to erupt all over them, and there's not much they can do about it. They could water shuriken our, our Pokemon to weaken that a bit, but not by a lot. I guess a Fire or Water Terra Annihilate would be the problem. We could have our own Annihilate Mouse Hold in the back to maybe make that not so bad. I want to bring Umbreon just for Snarls, so I guess we could bring just Annihilate in the back. That should work. I think Eruption just goes so crazy here. It's what we need to go with. They don't seem to have weather control, so we can just start blasting with fire. Ooh, cool. Nice trainer card. Shiny Azumarill in the wild. Rigorath Greninja. Yeah, I don't get it. Throat Spray. Loaded dice. Okay, that makes sense. I want to erupt. And I want to do as much damage as I can to Ferrigarath. So, Terra Fire Eruption plus a Weather Ball. Yeah, that seems fine. I'm not sure what Greninja's doing here. Like in my, I've, I've tested with Greninja. I, w I was trying to make a Greninja team. But the only I found it only did anything worthwhile when it was hitting its partner. And hitting for Rigorath doesn't help you. There's a Terra from their end. Maybe it's Terra Water... Uh, water Shuriken? Maybe it's a Fire Terra for Rigorath. Dragon Terra. Okay, that'll live this double up. They're gonna get Trick Room and they're gonna go with Blood Moon then. So hopefully we don't take a KO here. Oh, Water Shuriken's doing decent damage. I'm actually hoping Greninja can live the turn. 
they're going to get Trick Room either way. And Greninja being on the field when they set Trick Room would be a lot better than everything else. Yeah, good. It only does a little over half. And the Ferrigarath is down to also a little under half. Trick Room? Yeah. Cool. I guess they could have U-Turn with Greninja. I'm going to bring in Umbreon. Oh, it could be another Water Shuriken at our, at our Typhlosion, in, in which case Annihilate would be a nice swap. Yeah, I think I want to swap Annihilate, hoping to catch a Water Shuriken. And then also bring in Umbreon so I can start Snarling. They want to bring in Blood Moon, or they want to sweep with their Ferrigarath, maybe. Which, now that I've used Terra, Annihilate can't get away from the Psychic that they might have. Also, if they activate Throat Spray here... Ah, oh, wrong slot. They went for Water Shuriken over there. Dang. Okay. At least they're going for Water Shuriken and staying in. Like, you can stay on the field as long as you want. I don't mind you. Uh, but what I was going to say, they're going to activate their Throat Spring, so I get my Mirror Herb special attack here. So my Snarls are, are going to start doing a little bit more. Thank you. So, just a Protect, and a Snarl. Is there anything worth skill swapping? Not really. Then maybe next turn I can Moonlight. If they are going for Psychic Move onto Annihilate, I might have to swap it and bring it in later. They should hard swap their Greninja at this point. But if they hard swap in Blood Moon, they're going to get Snarled. So, honestly, it's not so bad. Yeah, there's our Saluna. Thank you. Would love to Snarl that. And show me what your last move is on Ferrigo. Because there's no way you're just going to Hyper Voice again. Psychic Noise. Okay. Let's go. Plus one Snarl time. That is not good damage. <laughs> but the Snarl is a Snarl. It, it lowers the special attack. That's what it's for. Alright. Two, only two turns of Trick Room remain. I'm going to bring in Ninetales. Is this thing bulky at all? Yeah, okay, good. That's good then. Yeah, for Annihilate, I'm gonna bring in Ninetales. And I should just Snarl again. Kinda wanna Moonlight. But I'm gonna Snarl. I feel like they could be doubling in... They could just be doubling into the Annihilate slot, though. Then I don't need the Moonlight. Ninetales isn't super great offensively the rest of this match. So yeah, it eating up a Blood Moon perfectly fine. It should eat that at minus one, yeah. You Life Orb? Yeah, okay. The damage looks about right. And Psychic Noise, can we eat that? No. Oh, because it's a crit. But that's fine, now we can protect Annihilate on the last turn of Trick Room. And get another Snarl down. Oh yeah, that's nice. In fact, since they can't Blood Moon, I wonder if I should get greedy and bulk up. Hmm. Greed? They're, Ugh, they're only at minus one on Ferrigarath. I could just click Drain Punch in other Saluna. Now that there are Salunas at minus two, it's, it's a non threat. It probably swaps. I can't click Drain Punch, actually, if I get Psychic Noise. Oh, hold on. I need to Protect. And I will just Snarl again. Yeah, I, I almost messed up there. If they hit me with Psychic Noise, Drain Punch can't be used at all. No, it doesn't just block the healing. <laughs> that's a mechanic I always forget about, because Psychic Noise, it's such a new mechanic. Yeah, Blood Moon swaps, that's not a surprise. Into Greninja? I don't see what that really provides you, unless you have a move I'm not expecting. And for a Garap swaps. Is it gonna be... Oh, is it gonna be our Chalada? No, it's gonna be Mousehold. Um... 
Not too worried about that, honestly. What can these do to me? If you're a pop bomb mouse hold, you could probably do a lot of damage to Umbreon. You might be able to taunt or encore. That would be annoying. But I think I'm going to go for a Drain Punch into Mouse Hold. If they have Encore, they throw it here anyway. I'm going to bulk up. And I'm going to try to skill swap the Mouse Hold. If they have Friend Guard, I would like to have Friend Guard. Here comes Farigarak. Maybe they just protect Mousehold. This is their plan to get another Trick Room up. Nope, it's Pop Bomb. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six. It's gonna be close. Seven, eight, nine. It took all ten. Wow. Okay. Well, nothing else I could have done there. Bulk up is the play. Because Mousehold can't touch this thing. They're now going to follow me, but that will be useless because I'm going to use a spread move. Eruption. Yeah, I have to lock in. I'm at half health. I get it. But I need to lock Eruption here. Yeah, they're wide lens. I need to... I need the Eruption to be enough. <laughs> uh, I'm going to Drain Punch for Rigora and Erupt. I don't think Eruption actually KO'd either. I could lock Flamethrower. Yeah, Flamethrower sh Flamethrower in the sun. Who turns the sun left? Nice. Yeah, Flamethrower in the sun should be able to knock out Mousehold. And then I can Drain Punch the Farigarath. They can't get Trick Room then. Yeah, it should be fine. This should be plenty of damage. I don't, I don't need to play the Eruption at half health games. Yeah, bye Mousehold. Because they're not going to be bulky. They're the pop bomb set. They're wide lens. They're definitely technician based on how much damage they were doing to Umbreon. Umbreon is tanky. And there goes Furigarath. All right. Greninja's going to come out, but be mostly useless. And so I can just target down the Blood Moon. And we are all set. Um, I guess they could stall out the rest of the sun with some protects. And then take out Typhlosion. But like, whatever. And they already used Terra, so our saloon is not getting away from this drain punch. Drain punch. I guess I could flamethrower the Greninja. That's fine. Greninja just protect. It must be a double protect then. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Get rid of the sun. Get more power on your water shuriken. Get rid of the flamethrower guy, but you're never gonna beat Annihilate with a Greninja. Are you? I mean, I guess I don't know what they have. They seem to be Torrent. I didn't see Protean activate. I wonder if they're in Torrent range right now. Maybe they are. So that actually could be a pretty strong water shuriken. Uh, but now I'm gonna Drain Punch our Saluna. I'll try to flamethrower the Greninja. I think they probably knock out Typhlosion, though. Ah, uh, double protect with the Ursaluna. Get the Water Shuriken on Typhlosion. That makes sense. Because if you get the free KO here, then you can get a free hit on the Annihilate before it drain punches Ursaluna. But I'm going to heal back up to basically full from whatever you can do. I guess we'll see what your one move for Annihilate is. I don't know what they could have. It could have... Hydro Cannon is probably your best bet in this position. I don't think there's a stronger move. We've got so much special defense, though. A Loaded Dice Hydro Cannon in Torrent range, though. I'm gonna just click Drain Punch because they don't have Terra left. Dark Pulse Flinch is that's what they're going for. Okay, that makes sense. That is a win con. But we don't get flinched and we Drain Punch. GG.
Let's go. Umbreon did a lot of work in that one. And so did Annihilate. But I mean, it's Annihilate. It's expected to do a lot of work. <laughs> Alright, GG, John Q. And good trainer card. Respect. Okay, here we got a match. Oh, it's Dondozo, Tatsugiri, with Talonflame, Golden Go. And also... Dragonite, Hamat. Pretty standard team going around. I think those are the same six I used. I don't know if one of them might have been different. No, I think those are the same six. So I've used this team before. I know what's going on here. I'm gonna need Umbreon, and I'm gonna need to get it on the field at the right time. So that I can skill swap away that Dondozo. I think also Eruption and Tailwind is a good start. That could work. Both of these being immune to fake out is nice. Problem with that would be Brave Bird could go before my Whimsicott and take it out. Though I have Terra Steel for that. Do I want to burn Terra there? I guess that's fine. I think Setting Sun could also be good. Ninetales isn't bad. It's got Will-O-Wisp for Dondozo, Dragonite, Fire Moves for Golden Go. Yeah, I think those are the four I want to go with. They've got a fine trainer card. Nice. Alright, I can respect that. Even though you're using Dondozo. Who knows, maybe they're not bringing Dondozo. Alright, it's Dragonite Talonflame lead. I would guess that does mean Dondozo Tatsugiri in the back. They are Choice Band and Covert Cloak. That's exactly what I would expect to see. They cannot safely click Outrage because of our Whimsicott. They could safely Brave Bird. Whimsicott would not be too bad about that. If I went Terra Steel. It would also help me potentially live in extreme speed. I think that's probably where I want Terra anyway. Though Terra on Ninetales could be nice too. I think I'm down to click Eruption. And just go for Tailwind. Okay, they just set their own Tailwind, that's fine. They're not extreme speeding. Uh, I wonder what move their Dragonite has then. Are you gonna lock into Outrage in front of a fairy? That would be funny. Not half the Talonflame, okay. Oh, they have Ice Spinner, that's rough. Oh, no, it's not. We live that. Haha. <laughs> Alright, go ahead, do another Ice Spinner. I'll see if I care. I'm going to Terra Fire Eruption now. That should probably take out Talonflame. I would lose the chance to do Terra Grass on my... Uh, no, you know what? I think it's fine. I think it's fine to do a regular Eruption. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to Encore the Talonflame. Now that their Gale Wings is broke, I can lock them into Tailwind. We know the Dragonite is Choice Band, so they're locked into Ice Spinner. They want to send that up Typhlosion, be my guess. Oh, they withdraw Talonflame. Show me Dondozo, but don't bring in Geary yet. Don't you dare bring in Tatsu Geary right now. Okay, good. They didn't. Get our Eruption damage off. Decent chip into Dondozo. Good chip into Dragonite as well. And you take out my Whimsicott. That's cool. If you're locked into Ice Spinner. You can't do much of anything. So what I need to do... Would this be faster than a Dondozo? Maybe not. I want to bring in Ninetales first. That way they definitely bring out Tatsugiri. I can Terra Grass right away. I don't want to Eruption. I need to have 
the mirror herb be on the field the turn that they combine. Typhlosion will swap first before the Dragonite because we both have Tailwind up. So I will have Umbreon on the field if they swap right here. And then I can Terra Grass and I can try to burn them. They could stay in an Ice Spinner this turn, I guess, if you really want to. But I doubt that. You could get a free Ice Spinner and just hit something and just protect your Don Nozo this turn. I guess. Yeah, they swap in Dragonite. Give me your boosts. Which they will... Oh, they're going into Talonflame here. Oh. But are they letting me burn the Dondozo? The Dondozo could be out of commission. thought for sure that would be a Tatsugiri there. Well, they baited out my Terra Grass. That's awkward. <laughs> Get the burn on Dozo. That's cool. Could be Earthquake. Yeah, that's gonna do nothing to anybody. It's gonna be a Brave Bird onto my Ninetales now. Don't have Protect. I would like to have Protect, but I don't have I could get unaware now. Don't think that's worth much at this point. I think I need to foul play the Talon Flame. Is it okay to lose Nine Tails? Maybe it is. I think I'll foul play into Talon Flame. And I'll just throw a Heat Wave, because I'm not really sure what to do. But, ooh, they're Flare Blitzing. That doesn't do much of anything. That's fine. Talon Flame is almost down. Not quite. Foul Play will finish it off. Beautiful. Now I would expect them to go back into Dragonite, but then I can burn your Dragonite. And turn. You really need to hit my Umbreon, and I really need to heal my Umbreon. But if I burn your Dragonite, I think we're good. I don't think... I mean, maybe if you lock Outrage... Tailwind Peters on both ends, but their Talonflame is gone, so we're faster. They always bring in Dragonite here. The question is whether they swap Tatsugiri. I'm going to click Moonlight for sure, and Will-O-Wisp into Dragonite. They could Terra Normal E Speed. They could swap in Tatsu. I assume it's Tatsu last. They haven't brought in whatever the other thing is. Though I don't think Golden Go would want to come in at any point so far. If it is Golden Go. But they definitely aren't playing like a solo Dozo. They're playing like a Dozo that wants to combine. Let me burn the Dragonite, that's beautiful. All right, let me get the Moonlight now. You can click Outrage into Ninetales. I, I don't want you to hit my Umbreon. Umbreon is the win con here. Uh-oh. Umbreon eats, let's go. We get the huge Moonlight back, let's go. Umbreon locking this game down. Yeah, Earthquake, go ahead, who cares? And their Dragonite is now locked into Outrage. They have no choice but to stay in with that slot now. Alright. So, we get our free hits on Dragonite. Uh... I'm wondering if I should Moonlight again, or just click Foul Play and force the Dondozo to swap. How's the sun looking? So much sun left, wow. I will foul play Dragonite. I 
and I would rather Ninetales take a hit than anything else, so I want to stay in. Guess I'll throw a Weather Ball at Dondozo here. Battle's just cancelled. Alright, Umbreon. And Ninetales did a lot. GG. Alright, we've got a match versus Murkrow, Garchomp, Golden Go. They also have Rillaboom and Archaladon with no rain. I guess they could have rain on Murkrow, actually. I take that back. And King Gambit. I would expect that to be Power Herb Archaladon, though. Maybe they also have rain on Murkrow. Rain on Murkrow makes the Sun Squad really sad. We are Terra Fire on Annihilate, which is great into everything but Garchomp. We don't have much in the way of speed control. And also Mouse could have some problems, but I think it has to be Annihilate Mouse Hold here. I don't think any other lead makes any sense, because if they have Rain Dance Murkrow, they're going to get Rain up, so I can't lead Typhlosion. In fact, Typhlosion... I don't want to say it's useless, but it doesn't feel very good. I will bring Umbreon. Though I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be able to do. And I think I want to bring Ninetales as my son. I mean, we, we've got Whimsicott with Tailwind, but we're not going to be faster than most of their team. they got some fast mons. We don't have Sunny Day on Whimsicott. It's like, I, don't, I, don't, I just don't want Whimsicott. That's it. Will-O-Wisp from Ninetales could be big. They've got a, quite a few physical attackers. They've got Golden Go and King Gambit that are weak to fire. No trainer card, though. Hmm. Can't forgive that. You're in top 200 on the ladder, but you don't have a trainer card. Okay, Murkrow Chomp. That's not too bad. I can't Terrastalize, but I don't really need to. Because what are they going to do? Tailwind Earthquake? No, they're just going to Earthquake. might be able to get away with beat up Rage Fist. They'll hit me with foul play and a move from Garchomp, but with Friend Guard, maybe we're alright. And removing Garchomp would be huge. So that's what I need to go with. They go for a Thunder Wave and we dodge. Okay. Did not expect that. Here's a beat up. That's doing a lot of damage, actually. Mousehold, calm down. You don't have to do four damage every time. They have Outrage, that's gonna KO. No, it's not. Okay, good. Oh boy, Outrage and it selects the right target. That could not have been worse. But we dodged the Thunder Wave, so you win some, you lose some. But Annihilate being this low on health, not great. Obviously, we can protect for some leftovers. And then we can follow me away any shot they send. Which could be just Golden Go. <laughs> I don't think we would take a Steel Make at Rain. Double Protect here is free. I think I actually want to protect. I want to protect bringing Ninetales because then they could just rain dance if they have it. I don't know that they would have it. I think I want to protect. Bring in Umbreon. Just something that can take a hit from Make It Rain to bring them to minus one. So I guess they can just get their stats back with Haze. Yeah, because they would have Haze, Tailwind, Thunder Wave. Maybe they don't have Rain Dance. Maybe I was worried about nothing. It's going to be Tailwind and what, Make It Rain? And they don't Terra. Oh, 
Okay, that's good. Now they have to haze. But it does over half to Umbreon. That's bad, because I, I want to bring in Ninetales and, like, heal up my Umbreon now. I could bring in Mousehold here and heal up my Umbreon. That's a little awkward, though. <laughs> No, I could tear a water and heal up. Yeah. I can go into Ninetales. Tear a water moonlight. And then I'm committing to... I can't take down Golden Go with Annihilate. But Annihilate, I don't think it has enough health to beat Golden Go anyway. They're just gonna keep hazing. And they're gonna be strong enough to knock me out even if I Terra. I don't have Pollen Puff or Heal Pulse on anything. Alright, they're committing to damage. Got it. Steel Terra, most likely. Thank you for revealing that. Now I can hit fire moves on you. But, does this do half to Ninetales? Oh, we're a bulky set. I don't think it would. If they don't haze and just go for foul play, that might do more damage into Ninetales. So I wonder if they actually went for that play. Yeah, they did. Okay. Well, that means Umbreon's gonna take this free one. And Ninetales doesn't take too much damage either. Actually, Umbreon took quite a bit. Hang on. <laughs> Tons of damage on Ninetales, too. Alright, but we're healing up. I think the play now is Weather Ball Golden Go. Bring in Friend Guard so Ninetales can hopefully take this hit. Because now they need to haze. Ooh, they swap Golden Go. Who else do they got? Do they not have haze? Archaladon. Okay, I like getting a Weather Ball into Archaladon. Unless they had Rain Dance this whole time. No, we've seen. I guess we haven't seen haze. Could they not have Haze and have Rain Dance instead? Thunder Wave? Tailwind? Foul Play? It's gotta be Haze. It would have been Rain Dance there if they had it. Big damage into Archaladon. Thank you. I'm now happy to click Heat Wave. And probably follow me. It's their last turn of Tailwind, but I can't double protect. Heat wave and follow me. They shouldn't have any spread moves unless they have Snarl. So I think this is alright. They could get fancy with Paralysis Chance. That would be annoying. But they should be forced to hit Mouse. A double up might take it, but I don't think any one hit's gonna take it. They just Thunder Wave the Mouse. Okay, so we'll at least survive the turn. Hopefully we get Heat Wave off. It's in the hands of the RNG now. We can get rid of our Chaladon here. All they have left is Golden Go. And Umbreon might be able to just beat Golden Go. So they'll have to lock into a move. We should be able to eat this, right, Mousehole? Right. Well, that's no good. I guess speed tiers matter. If their Murkrow goes first, we could be in a little trouble, but I think their Archaladon would go first. Archaladon goes first, takes out Mousehold, then we get the Heat Wave. Oh boy. Is that the play? I think it is. We need this Heat Wave. So I need to follow me Heat Wave, and I need both of them to go this time. Follow me comes through. Our Chaladon has to be faster. It is. It has a Sphere. Cool. Aura Sphere Electro Shot. Most likely Protect. I don't know what the fourth move they run is. Foul Play shouldn't take out Ninetales from here. Beautiful. And we get the Heat Wave and we double connect it. Fire our Chaladon. Phew. Okay.
I'm gonna bring in Umbreon. They have to attack my Ninetales, but they could just hit it with like a foul play maybe. And lock Shadow Ball with Golden Go. There's so much sun left, which is great. I'm gonna Weather Ball into Golden Go in case they let me live. Otherwise, I think I want to skill swap the Murkrow. If I could have Prankster Moonlight, that would be nice. They locked Thunderbolt. Okay, that's annoying. That does so much damage. And foul play. Alright, I can take Prankster now. Though I'm not sure how much that helps me. Now that they've locked into Thunderbolt. Would they Thunderbolt my Annihilate? Would they risk that? I don't think they would. Which means I could get a Drain Punch off into their Golden Guard. Maybe. And I should definitely Moonlight right now. Should be able to take a Thunderbolt after Moonlight, because the Sun boosted to 75% healing. Come on, Umbreon. Okay, they attack the Annihilate. That's going to take it out. I don't think there's anything I can do then. They just set Tailwind with their Murkrow. Hmm. I, I needed them to call that read wrong. They're going to Thunderbolt. I'm going to Snarl. And I'm going to Moonlight. That might be in foul play range. They're going to Thunder Wave. Okay, that makes sense. Play for the hacks. Uh, I think they've got this locked up anyway. They still haven't shown me Haze. They'll show it here if they've got it. I'm very limited on how many Moonlights I have. They don't seem to have haze. Sun faded though, so I'm kinda not doing so good now. I need to moonlight. I think I lose this. I don't think I can heal enough to get out of Thunderbolt range. Enough, because I need to heal out of Thunderbolt range after a Thunderbolt. We go from 158 to 68. That does 90 damage. There's no way I'm healing that much. They're doing over 90 damage and I can heal 100 back. Maybe if they think they need to set Tailwind for some reason here. But no, I'm gonna get paralyzed eventually. Or crit eventually. And they have more Thunderbolts than moon than I have Moonlights, so I'm gonna run this one. GG, couldn't take the dub here. It was a close one, and Umbreon did well, but they need to go to get a trainer card. Okay, we've got Ndidi, Armourouge, Sylveon, Amoongus, Incineroar, and Farigraph. That is hard, hard trick room. And we can't just erupt them, because they probably have Flash Fire on the Armourouge. We have Snarl and a Dark type. That's beautiful. Thank you for that. And what else is there to do? Beat up into Annihilate isn't going to work very well. In fact, how do I hit Armor Rouge at all? I don't have Taunt. I could Terra Annihilate and start bulking up, I guess while I snarl. Uh, I need something for that Amoongus. That would be Mousehold. I guess I could lead Umbreon Mousehold. That feels pretty passive. But with Inner Focus, we can't be flinched on Umbreon, and we can snarl, and then we can avoid spores. I'll bring the monkey. In case they don't lead follow me, I can just swap in the monkey and beat it up. And then finally, I think Typhlosion could clean, but 
So could Ninetales? Uh, I think it's Typhlosion, because Typhlosion can actually hit Armor Rouge with Shadow Ball once Ndidi goes down. Now, I, the problem is I'm kind of letting them get Trick Room up and just slowing them down after. Oh, and they don't have a Trainer card. That's no good. Come on, Luigi. Instant Amoongus. All right, they want to Fake Out and they want to Spore. Don't love that. Because they can fake out the mouse. Unless I tear a ghost, but I don't want to tear a ghost. What I can do... Is bring in Annihilate and Protect. And then next turn get a beat up off into it. This turn, I don't think the beat-up is safe. I think it should definitely be a fake-out in the mouse hold. And yeah, they could spore into Annihilate, but... Oh, it's knockoff straight into the mouse. Yeah, that was not going to be a safe Terra. Okay. And it is spore into Annihilate, but we've got time to wake up. Could be worse. Now they might be baited into trying to Rage Powder away the beat-up. Doesn't matter what Annihilate clicks here, and I will beat it up. Not at all the lead I expected. They probably knock off my leftovers. What they should do. We only get three beat ups because Annihilate's asleep, so it doesn't count toward the number. We can beat up again next turn as long as we're still around. Parting shot. Oh, into mouse. Okay. <laughs> like, uh, don't do that to an Annihilate. You'd be in big trouble. But yeah, it looks like Mousehold is still going to be around next turn, so we could get another beat up off and get to max stacks. Uh, what would you bring in here? Armor Rouge? Brigorath. Uh, not really too concerned about that. Yeah, they try to spore, they see our goggles now. Okay. I definitely want to Terrastalize Annihilate, just for Psychic moves. Looks like their last might be Sylvia on them. They did not bring both Ndidi and Armor Rouge. Kinda weird. But yeah, definitely a Terra. Could be straight into Rage Fist on Amoongus. But I'm not too scared of Amoongus, honestly. I'd rather bulk up. Because I need the damage to be able to hurt Farigarath more. I could also Super Fang for Rigorath. I think the beat up's fine. Get to max stacks while I can. Show me Incin again. I'd love an attack boost. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Alright. Now that I've Terrastalized, I am vulnerable to Fake Out, but I mean, we both have Protect. And if you set Trick Room this turn, then whatever. I can Protect stall out a turn of that. Not a lot of offense for my opponent's side of the field. They must have Armor Rouge or Sylveon. If, they, if their last mod is Ndidi, they brought no damage. So I guess Perigraph could be a Throat Spray. More offensive set. I mean, it has like 110 base special attack. One, two, three. We are now at max stacks. The max you can go is six. And we wake up and get a bulk up. All right. Plus two attack, plus one defense with a 350 power Rage Fist. Good luck. Yeah, set your Trick Room, that's fine. I'm cool with protecting both here. I don't want to lose my mouse's goggles. Though I can always redirect and take out Amoongus. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with double protect here. Stalls a turn of Trick Room. Sure, they get a free swap if they want. But they're going to fake out Annihilate. No sense in taking free damage on Mousehold. Mousehold isn't going to be able to do much here anyway. The question then is what they do with their instant. Do they want a parting shot out to avoid a drain punch? Do they want to... Hyper... Okay, they hyper-voiced. Hyper -voiced. 
That's good that I double protected because they won't get throat spray activated. I think here, I like Drain Punch into Farigarath. Question is if I want to follow me the knockoff. Is it better to lose my goggles or my leftovers? I think it's better to lose my leftovers, actually. So I'll Drain Punch Farigarath. I'll Drain Punch Incineroar and Super Fang to chip Farigarath. There's the Hyper Voice, not much damage into Annihilate. They were Throat Spray. Okay, that's what I thought. Knockoff takes out my leftovers, that's fine. I will heal by punching you. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> this isn't how I planned for this game to go at all. This was the backup plan. The plan was to use Umbreon. And Super Fang connects. Beautiful. I know you're not Citrus Bearing, so you're now a hat. Now if you bring in Amoongus, I can follow me away to Spores, because I still have my goggles. You should have focused on getting rid of those. So I will Rage Powder, and I will Drain Punch the Farigarath. Not Rage I will follow me. The better Rage Powder. I guess they could Rage Powder, meaning I punch their Amoongus instead and they get a free hit with Farigarath, but they're not doing that, because our Follow Me came out. Just Spore? Ooh. Yeah, Hyper Voice, that does a lot to Mouse, but we hang on, let's go. Yeah, if they had gone, I think they should have gone for Side Pollen Puff there. Heal up their Farigarath, or if I Follow Me, get the chip you need on Mouse Hold to take it out that turn. Because now I've got one more chance to block a Spore. And here's Sylveon. Here I think the play is double protect. Is it the last turn of Trick Room? It is. Yeah, so there's no reason not to just protect, protect. We should be the fastest things on the field. The next turn we can just Rage Fist something. Battle is cancelled. Yep, that's what Annihilate can do when you let it get carried away. GG. And we are back. Umbreon did so well. I was really impressed by Umbreon. I might be playing another Umbreon team one of these days. Uh, but also Annihilate was really impressive. Typhlosion is Typhlosion, I mean, let's be real. But Ninetales also doing a lot of work. Ninetales is something I usually overlook because I love Torkoal so much. But Ninetales could actually put in a lot of work in this video. Uh, let me know in the description which, which one of these mods you think put in the most work. But also go ahead and try out this team. Rental code's for you in the corner. Anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.